So with XRP, I'm just going to have a quick reference to this uh, this chart here. I'm going to go to um, my Bitstamp. My Bitstamp here, and just show the the Wyckoff. Uh, Wyckoff uh, chart, yeah. So you can see here, you can see here that it's uh, it's following it to it's following it to the T at the moment. One sec. Hold this in nice, nice and close. There we go. Internet seems a bit slow today. Okay, so so at the moment you can see you can see it's 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 touching all the key points in 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 the Wyckoff accumulation. Um, and the main one I'm going to point out here is that you have this level here, where you get the drop, you got this level here, um, which is the AOR is here. And then from there is you, you, you get a drop and a lift creates a, a higher high. Uh, again, then you get your you get your drop down. And then this lift up here lands between the AOR, the AOR and the higher high. Yeah. So you can see it's holding it's holding that level very clearly at the moment, yeah. And um, potentially, if this holds and follows through, is we we'll, we we'll get the lower low that I've been talking about for a while. Is that we're due to get a lower low from uh, from all the way all the way back here. Okay, so what I'll do is just put a marker on that. Right there. Let's back up to the four hour. Um, this is bit stamp, so the charts are a little stuff is a little and yeah that, that, that's right but that's on the daily there's a bottom there there's a there's the there's the lower low of this whole chart yeah 28 50 50 50 on bits down so when I go to the four hour ah okay 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 Confusing myself there. So, so yeah. So look, there's the there's the lower low, uh, and we're due we're due in the bigger on the bigger uh, pattern to actually break this. We haven't bro we haven't broken it yet. We got we came close to it here. So on the four hour on the four four hour distribution, uh, potentially we're looking at breaking a lower low here, uh, and possibly going going lower and breaking breaking a lower low, uh, a proper lower low on. When we go to the 12 hour, again, the, 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 the 12 hour is, 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 is following to a T as well, yeah? And on the 12 hour, you can see, here's the, here's the AOR. The AOR here is, you get the drop down, and again, a drop down, and then you get the one, two, three up. So here's our, here's our peak. And then from the peak is we're coming down on the 12 hour for our second lower low, so that we got the the uh, self climax here, the SC, and then we're coming down for another lower low. And on the 12 hour is potentially if this if this continues to follow as it does, is we get we get our lower low here. And I reckon it's going to be around the around the 27, 27 six to maybe 26 six range. Yeah. Um, so that's that's following it as 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 it goes along. Um, so now let's go. 
let's go back into um, let's go back into the charts here and have a look at uh, how this might fit in yeah so if I just go to the daily here and um, I will put these off here the indicators for now um, so these yellow these yellow boxes are are uh, the main the main uh, target target levels on the weekly. So these are on the, on the weekly. Um, when you zoom out like that, you'll see I've hit all the main wicks predominantly on on, on, on the weekly. Yeah, so they they give an indication of, of the weekly pattern. Yeah. Um, of where the levels of support and resistance that price action likes to go to. So now, when I zoom into the daily, you can see that there is this this uh, supporting channel here, um, and I broke I broke out of it. Is I'll just move that away for now, um, because potentially we could be looking at it again. This 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 descending channel down. You got the one. You got the two. You got the three. And potentially we're heading down for four, which would fit in with the with both the 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 four hour white off and the, the twelve hour white off as well. Yeah. Um, and again taking us down around that that, that says about twenty six forty. Uh, but somewhere 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 in there, yeah. Uh, I reckon there's an FOMC meeting there in February, uh, early February, and this might take us till till then uh, to pop down there and potentially we could be getting a a uh, little bit of softer news that could send the markets up um, I start taking the markets up to uh, to the top to the top of this this four hour Wyckoff distribution level takes back to the top there hitting around the, the 50 50 mark or so yeah um, so so that's what I'm looking at so now let's let's zoom in let's zoom in a little closer now and and then ask yourself what is uh, what is going on uh, more locally um, and I'm going to talk about price action um, I'm going to describe it th through um, the stock the stock and the RSI first uh, and then you'll see what I mean when I when I show you the, show you the charts yeah is on this is the five minute top left 15, half hour, an hour. Can you see they're all doing a, a bit of a bottomed out? Um, however, I'll well, point out the hour on the RSI on the hour is the, the previous high. Uh, the RSI really went into went high, went went probably probably into the over over overbought. Yeah. Uh, now when it came down, it, it touched the bottom line again. Look, we have the with the we, we've got the bounce back up here. Yeah. Now, normally when you get the RSI going so high, is it comes down and it breaks and starts smashing, smashing through here. It didn't didn't do that, yeah. Uh, again, strong strong push up, but we have this, we have a similar position here where the RSI comes up again, and and is and now there's a strong push down, yeah, very volatile. But what, why is that happening? Is because the two hour bottom left, the two hour if you look at the two hour, the two hour has been high for a long time and hasn't touched the bottom. Then the second there, the three hours is, is similar. Is it? It came very high. It's still moving down. Equally, the four the four hour can be the same. Can be said. Now, when you go into the six hour, you can see the six hour RSI, the eight hour. You can see they're all just coming back in, um, coming back in proper from the overbought, um, and they're in they're in the momentum of, of pushing down, yeah. So they're putting they're putting a lot of pressure on the on the earlier hours, and uh, I think we should probably see that on the the one hour RSI go go into this it potentially go into the extreme of the oversold. It pushes deep into the oversold. We might get that push now um, uh, this time around, yeah. Uh, and equally, the the twelve hour is you can see the twelve hour 
It's the 12 hour here now in the blue box. And uh, the 12 hour is probably is probably um come in from the over overbought, yeah. And then the the 18 hour. So now what does that look like? What does that look like on the on the candles? I'll I'll show you I'll show you in, in a couple of minutes. Yeah. So that's that's potentially the RSI is showing why why such an extreme move um, is kicking in? Yeah. Uh, equally, the 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 stock the top the top one here. Again, look the top left five is is exhausted. Uh, Fifteen has got a bit of a breather. Half hours at, at the bottom. Again, we might get another lift and then another push down. Potentially the same with the hour. Is the hour gets a little bit of a breather and pushes down. Two hours back up with a bit of a breath. Same to three hours, got a little bit of a breath. We might get these turning around, pushing down, and getting a bigger uh, potential push down. Uh, and again, the four, no, that's not the four hour, because I've turned it now. Uh, <coughs> there's the, again, the four hour bottoming out and a little, a little turn down. Uh, something like this one here, where it can hold itself down for a bit. But potentially, potentially, this is, this is a lot of volatility, yeah. So now let's have a look at the six hour. Again, look, they're all all the stocks on the, the earlier hours are, are bottomed out. The eight hour is coming in, it's into the overbought, oversold. The nine is pushing. All the ten, you can see they're all they're all coming down strong. But the twelve hour, look, the twelve hour is only is only uh, coming in from the overbought now. So again, that 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 pressure is going to start to kick in, yeah. And then the eighteen hour. There's the 18 hour coming down as well. So, so now very, very, very hard to read. Yeah, uh, I think I think this push down makes more sense with the RSIs than it does the this the stock at, at at the moment. Yeah. Um. Now these are the dailies, and you can see on the turn of the day is this stock turn down top left. The, the stock turned down. Yeah. So the stock turned down and it's like, okay, great. And then you start getting this lift and it's okay, the lift was expected. It, it did a, it, it potentially it looks like it's done a one, two, a one, two for the down uh, at the moment, yeah. Um, so now it, did, it came fairly close, but at the moment now it's gone, it's pushed right down. So we'll see. Um, the two day didn't turn, the three day, the three day turned uh, last night. Now you can see that this stock on the, Two day and the three day are racing back to the top very fast. The one day got, got got there pretty fast, but the two day is 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 racing and the three day are racing up. Yeah, even the four day top top right is they're they're moving very fast to the top, which to me indicates that uh, potentially they want to get to the top or get halfway up, turn around and and give another push down. Yeah, um, and again you can see that. The RSI on the daily is looking like it's uh, potentially going to be down by the end of the day or, or go sideways. Two days down, three days looking like it wants to turn, four days holding firm at the moment. Five day turn last night, and again it was uh, looks like it's going to turn, yeah. And then this is the weekly, the weekly turn last night as well. Okay, so 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 now when I go to the I go to the candles. Again, not the, not the easiest thing to read. Not the easiest thing to read is the two week turned last night. So let's what let's have a look at what happened with the two week, yeah. Because these guys, because we're very close to uh, the the market. The, 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 the mark, I don't want to say the market bottom because I definitely think we've another leg down, yeah. But we are we are coming into where a lot of the MAs on the later time frames are coming down. So imagine you're looking at a one hour, but this is a, this is a two week. Is you've got the, the the five coming down, losing its strength, the ten coming down, not strong enough to, to push it down. You get the lift, you get the, the bounce back to the 20. Uh, EMA, the white line, and the 20 MA. You could see this in a, a five minute, every, <laughs> a couple of times a day, is sometimes you'll get 
a rejection here and it pushes down, you know, and then you get the five turning back down and, and the, here's the 10 going sideways and you get this battle going on between the five is now turning back up, the 10 has gone sideways and then last night is the 20 came down and broke through the, the 10. So on the two week, this is a strong move where the, the, the 20 broke through the, the 10 here and also broke through the, the, the medial the medial line yeah uh, so and it was a pretty decent move so you can see where it wicked up on the two week it wicked up to the medial line um, and the medial line since it got broken here has been back tested once you get a push down has been back tested twice and here's the third test of it yeah so potentially with the 20 coming down now is we could get that push down over the next couple of weeks and coming down to the Bollinger here at 27, 23 or so, yeah. So that that could be the next move, and it would break the, give us a lower low here. So the white cops, white this accumulation is the white cough is saying that that we are due uh, another lower low as part of that accumulation, yeah. Um, so so now the weekly turned, the weekly turned, and again you can see the the. Look at the look at the the last time it was the five up, but the ten was down. Now the five and ten are up, so that's fantastic for for support. Uh, resistance is is the twenty EMA and the twenty MA are resistance at the moment, yeah. And you can see a wick up to the twenty again, and and we've pushed down at the moment, yeah. So what we need to see is the the, the medial line on the weekly break. So thirty seven forty five is we be good to see price action uh, break through that yeah and um, it's quite possible that that this sideways we may get another another leg down uh, another push down and then we get we get a fair bit of sideways and we get we got one one lift one top two, two tops and then potentially a, a third top around here um, <clears throat> unless it wants to break up and do do a higher high and uh, still with this volatility is still in the cars but uh, it seems like and see well it is holding at the moment and it seems like this rejection it seems like this might be the the, the one two um and then on the way down but sort of gotta see gotta see it to believe it so to speak yeah uh, but you can see how the weeks the weeks are playing are playing out here um then the five day turned last night as well yeah so now with regards to strength of resistance is you can see the bollinger got tested on the last lift is got rejected by the 20 the 50 and the 20 EMA so that's a lot of that's a lot of resistance to get through so remember what we were talking about is you got the 5 coming down the weakens the 10 comes around the, this time that you see the 20 here came around here's the 20 EMA 20 MA so you can see the play of the swings of it yeah so the point I'm gonna make about the 5 day with regards to push down is you've got you've got this trend coming down again we see this on the short time frames far more often but it's the same same thing you got the you got the breakdown now if you look is the drop here the lift is if you look at what what pulled this down here's the five and ten the twenties pulling this down and then here's the fifty so here's the fifty as resistance here here's the fifty as resistance here Look, here's the 50, rejection, 50, nearly rejected it again, 50, rejection, rejection, and here we are, here we are, with price action at the 50 again, and again, rejection again, and this time the 20 is coming over the top and pushing down, as well as the 20 EMA. So a lot, a lot, a lot of resistance support there, um, and equally this 5 here, this 5 looks like it could be encouraged to to bend to turn um, and we get that we get that turn and potentially we get that we get that, that, that move down yeah so on the five day this is this is looking very bearish with regards to how strong it is with with its resistance here yeah um, <coughs> excuse me is what the, was it the fourth day or the third day uh, that was day four I'm just looking at the ones that turned yeah so the three day, I believe the three day turned last night. And again, it's hitting a lot of 50s, hitting a lot of 50, 55 uh, resistance, 
the blue line here, the 55 EMA, the 50 MA, and then the 50 EMA. Yeah. So a lot, lot of resistance. Five, ten are coming up. Twenties are <laughs> caught in the middle. Uh, so we got to see, we got to see what what it wants to do. The VWAP here um, is it's up at the moment, but again, if we get another push down, is uh, I think that VWAP will turn. Yeah, we'll continue down. The two day. Two day, the two day didn't turn. But again, you see the 50 on the two day is, is really solid resistance there, yeah. But again, no doubt about it, the five, the 10, the 20s here look, look very, very pumpy. Okay, and then the one day. Um, so now the one day, uh, the one day the VWAP is, is up, uh, and we'll see where that is by the end of the day if price action can continue down. And you can see the five on the one day again looks like it wants to well it looks like it's open to uh, open to turning down uh, potentially tomorrow yeah is is so now we'll see we'll see what that does we get that five turning down it's a really good sign yeah um okay so so now it just turned two o'clock at uh, my time which is 12 o'clock uh, uh otc time so now this is what i was saying uh, yesterday in the chart we need to see the 5 ma on the 12 hour turn down um and i was i was i was thinking i might do it here and it didn't uh and then uh didn't do it this morning at the start and i said oh, okay uh, but now it's done it so there's the proper there's the proper turn down of the 12 hour on on the 5 ma on the 12 hour which is a really good sign for the down because last time last time here uh we had the nine the eight nine eight nine and ten the 5 ma and the eight nine and ten hour turned down i was like okay normally when you see that it's a really good sign for a reversal yeah and we got a nice pull down here uh, and then it, then it turned around pop back up uh because the five on the on the on the 12 hour wasn't wasn't playing ball yeah uh, it's definitely playing ball now so you can see that turn so that's 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 a pretty good sign um that's a pretty good sign so it seems like the weeklies the the weeklies are, are meeting strong resistance um and the dailies the dailies seem like they're starting to starting to find their limit and they're starting to turn um so so we'll see we'll see how that goes so now how does it fit into the to the earlier time frames is you can see, um, maybe you kind of notice another twelve. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to jump to the I'm going to jump to the one hour and back to the twelve hour to make my point. So this is this is what I was saying about the the RSI's uh, being really high and needing to needing to come back in. Yeah, is you can see this lift on the one hour, and then it turns and then look it just plummets and and and, and pushes down. Yeah, and the the one hour breaks through all the all the MAs here. Um, but look how far away the 10 is. The, 10, the 10's the got to do a bit of catching up here. So while the 10 is trying to catch up here, and we, we've seen this before, is the, the 5 is on its own. Now what will stop the 5 from from coming back up so high? It, I think I don't think it'll come high. I think it'll be held down pretty pretty at this level until until it's ready to move down. I, I believe, but we'll, we'll see. Um, is that... When you go back to the 12 hour, you can see <coughs> you can see how this lift, the five and the VWAP is up. Now the rejection looked it VWAP turned sideways and the five is, is now strongly down. And it was up. So that's that's a sharp it's a, yeah it was it was up. It only came level here when this started coming down. So so now look on the 12 hour the 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 five is just turned down which is super strong for resistance. So the 12 hour, this is my point. I know it's long winded, but you can, I'm, I'm going to tell the story. The five and the 12 hours turned down. So the five and the 12 hour has the ability to hold price action here while on the one hour, the five might be getting exhausted on its own. It's going to take a bunch of hours for the 10 to come down, but now it's the later hours on the day that can hold price action and hold price action where it is, and the, 
the earlier hours, the, the like the tens on the day on the two and three hour can catch up. Because when you look at the two hour, look there's the there's the five trying to catch up on the two hour, and look the ten is sideways. So the one hour did did, did an awful lot of moving, but the rest haven't. So now when you look at the ten, you can see there's the VWAP on the ten. And then here's the the five MA on the, on the ten hour, and there's the there's the blue the blue ten MA on the ten hour. So you can see the view up on the and the five MA on the ten hour also has the ability to hold price action wherever it is. Um, so now that's the story. That's that's what I'm watching for now. Look, there's the nine. There's the view up. There's the five down. So the the wick up here is came away from all these, but the retrace back down brought price action below uh, the 5 ma on the on the 9 10 is it 10 did it do 10 10 yeah 12 and 12 hour so you get my point so now <coughs> same on the 8 hour look you can see that on the 8 hour the vwap and the 5 are in a perfect position for a power move down for a, for a strong push down they're they're in their best position now for a good turn even with with the 10 10 turning down here again that'll be that'll be a nice power move in 4 hours 4 hours time yeah okay so the 6 hour just turned with the 12 hour uh, and again look there's a nice there's a nice turn down on the on the 10 here yeah so, and the four hour turned. And again, there, look, look, price action is up here. The five and 10 were, 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 were miles away. Now look where price action is. The turn of the five and 10 are perfect for a push down. And also they're underneath, the price action is underneath the 20, 20 EMA, the white line, and the, the 20 MA. Yeah. Um, so yeah, interesting move, yeah. And again, same, same on the same on the three R. Look, this three R, the the five is sideways. The twenty, the twenty MA, is after taking a, a nice turn down. The five has sort of gone sideways slightly up. The ten is slightly up, um, and again, they, they you can see that they're, they're the the five and ten are pretty much sideways. These guys are pretty much sideways. Um, even the 20 EMA, uh, it's the 20 MA is the one that took the, seems like it took the proper turn down. So a bit, a bit of bopping, bop, bopping, bopping here with price action, I, I, I believe, yeah. So now the one I'm watching now is here. See the white line, the 20 EMA and the 55 EMA on the one hour. Uh, they were very close to crossing over here and then you got this lift. So now I'm watching for them to uh, I'm watching for them to cross over again, yeah. Because generally, when when they cross over, is uh, it's about a seven percent move uh, initially, yeah. So not necessarily all at once, but there's there's a there's a move, there's a potential move down to uh, thirty six, uh, thirty six cent or so. So. What, what would take us down is uh, that would that would be a strong push down 36 uh, a back test and then a potential move down so you could see that you could see you could see potentially potentially I'm, I'm just telling a nice story potentially you can see that you can see the lift here is down like this back up for the last high and then we start to and then we start to head down like this, yeah. So that's that that one hour EMA is crossing over might 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 give us that, yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, I'm pretty much done here. So that's so yeah. So that's that's um that's that's what I'm looking at an entry an entry point. And that's a toughie. <laughs> that's a toughie uh, uh, at the moment. Is in the sense of with the volatility, yeah. Um, is I will be watching to see 
let me go back to the let me go back to the, the stop here so there's the five minute top left 15 half hour hour um, <coughs> excuse me uh, what I'm, I'll tell you what I'm thinking is potentially the, the half hour here um, the half hour here uh, the question I'm asking myself is will it want to come up and do a a, a full lift or will it do a small lift turn around and we get a really strong push down on, on, on that yeah um, and we can get on the RSI you can, Get a strong a strong push down into the over over so get a lift and get a get a um, get a bullish divergence yeah and at the same time the the one hour the one hour just keeps pushing pushing deep so the question is over the next few hours are we going to get it are we going to get the one hour break and then continuing down again or is it going to need a bit of a breather um, is it going to need a bit of a breather here um, before before it continues on? I think I think the answer is going to need a bit of a breather. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm looking at a basic uh, pattern playing out here. And again, I'm going to assume this is going to hold. It's going to consolidate and it's going to push down another level. That's 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 what I'm watching for. Yeah. So in general terms, is the lift right. potentially is you, you get a lift like this you might get a, a higher lift here so if I start to see a higher lift here I think that might be the the, the, the top of this is and then we get we get something like this something like that okay which again is it's a it's a reversal pattern for the down it's, it's this consolidation and reversal pattern for the down so what I would be looking for is um, on the one hour is that when you start to see the five and the one hour turn the MA turn you're going to get a bit of a lift and then there'll be It'll, it'll meet the VWAP and the the 10 here. It may want to come back and back test the the VWAP on on um, on the one hour. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, or it may just stop uh, uh, resisting the, the the 10. Yeah. So now just needs to be we need to be a little bit patient. Is watch to see what this wants to do. Is if you see it coming up and hitting a level here. And then it pushing down, getting a rejection from it. Then it's setting a range, and it might give a very nice, a very nice range in here. Um, it's a very nice range in here for a 702. Yeah. So you're looking for that 702. So once, 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 if it happens, you see it topping out here. Is look for that. Look for that. Push down afterwards, and then you've got your range and stick in a 702 and. Wherever the, the peak is here, again, a tenth of a cent above it, put in a put in a stop loss. Yeah. So that's that's what I, that's what I would be looking for, yeah. Um, to see to see how this plays out. Mm -hmm.